Ron Harris here from MuscleDevelopment.com, standing with Classic Physique Olympia champion, 24 years old for two more days. Two more days. Chris Bumstead. Happy birthday in two days. Thank you. Appreciate it. Glad to be back on the show. It's been a while. Yes. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I believe you are the youngest male Olympia winner since Lee Haney and before that Arnold Schwarzenegger. Pretty sure. Now, bikini chicks have won the Olympia at like 15 or 16. This is actually a true story. But uh, I believe that's true. Do you know? I'm not sure. No, <laughs> I couldn't tell you that one. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I can I can do the math definitely for sure. I mean, I think a lot of people assume by the way you carry yourself and the way you speak that you're actually older than you are. Do sometimes people get freaked out when they realize this this guy's only 24 years old? I mean, sometimes people are surprised, but i am kind of been known as the young guy. They know coming into it, I'm, I'm going to be young. So no one's been too shocked lately anymore. Everyone's kind of been surprised and they're over it, you know? Now, a lot of guys, they win a big title like that and it goes to their head and they go Hollywood. But, you know, from, the, from your videos and from everyone that's had interaction with you, you have not changed one bit. You're the same humble guy, grounded in reality. You know, do, you, do you credit that to being surrounded by people that don't blow up your ego and, and treat you that way? I would say so, yeah. Like ever since I was a kid till now, I've kind of surrounded myself with the exact same people. So literally, when we were in Vegas, I, they were all there and we celebrated, and it was an amazing accomplishment. I was grateful for it. But then I came back home, and literally nothing was different. They didn't treat me different. They didn't treat me better, worse, nothing, which I love. Life is good before, life is good after. So in my eyes, nothing changed. I'm proud of what I did, and it was a great accomplishment. And I have a lot of pride in it, but no, my life isn't really any different, you know? I haven't even spoken to you in real life since the Olympia, which was what? How many months ago? Was it? Six, Four seven months? It's been a while. So a lot of people felt that you winning represented that they were making a statement that Class Physique is distinct from open bodybuilding. It's going to have a different criteria because uh, a lot of us were very, very confused after last year's Arnold Classic. I don't know if you were, but mm -hmm. when George Peterson beat Steve Loris, and I, I have great respect for both of these guys, they're both tremendous athletes, but I was like, how does this... How does George beat Steve? Because Classic has a different look. I thought it did. I mean, what is your opinion on where Classic's going as far as the judging? Do you think you winning made a statement or made any meant anything specifically? I mean, personally, I think there was no one with that look who was quite elite enough to beat Breon. Breon's an amazing bodybuilder. He is, like you said, he isn't quite classic in that exact look, but he's an amazing bodybuilder. He doesn't really have any weaknesses. He's super complete. But there wasn't quite anyone with that different classic look who was good enough to knock him out of his position yet. So I think, I don't think they were starting off wrong or moving better or anything. I think they were just waiting for the right person who was good enough to earn that spot. And this year, I was lucky enough for it to be me. You know, you've talked in your videos about how the shorter guys in classic they sort of have an advantage because they tend to put on muscle a little easier. They have more complete physiques, where taller guys, typically there's one or two body parts that are going to give them trouble just because there's more real estate to work with. There's a much bigger frame. Um, I, I have a feeling that moving forward, we're going to see taller guys starting to do better and better in classic. What do you feel as far as, I know, I know we're, all, uh, we're all athletes, but what do you think? I agree with that to a certain extent. I think both has their strengths and weaknesses. Like you said, shorter, I believe a lot more shorter guys have a much more complete physique. Like they have great arms and great backs. Whereas when you see taller guys, their arms and backs hurt to leg a bit. But because they're bigger, everything else is a little overpowering. On stage, your eyes are drawn to whatever's biggest out there. So I definitely think both have their strengths and benefits. And I think it's just going to depend on how it balances out and who comes in best. If someone looked exactly like me, but a few inches shorter, but came in leaner than me, they would probably beat me, you know? So it just depends who's there. So you've talked in some of your videos about, uh, you know, people have asked you, is it hard? Do you think it's going to be harder to keep the title, to defend the title, than it was to win the title and beat a, an incumbent channel? But I'm going to take it from a different angle. Motivation-wise, are you more motivated now that you have the title and you really want to keep the title than you were when Breon was the champ and you wanted to take it away from him? I would say I'm equally as motivated. I was extremely motivated before and I still am. And that mainly just becomes, I don't think I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish yet. And I won and that was like my like trophy accomplishment I wanted, but I still didn't look nearly as good as I wanted to. And I'm just like, no, there's no stopping until I've reached that point where I've like completed exactly how I want to look. Everything's filled out perfectly. I peak perfectly, I'm lean enough. My arm, my back's come up. And like, just because I haven't gotten there, it's almost like, wow, another year and I still didn't look perfect. I need to work even harder this year. So I guess you could say I'm a little more motivated even. I mean, let's be realistic. You have, 
potential wise, I don't think you're anywhere near your ultimate potential. Mm. You know, because most, most people in the physique, any type of physique competition, be it bodybuilding, classic, whatever, they don't hit their real peak. Somewhere between 30 and 35 is where almost all these guys look their absolute best. Do you still have a vision of yourself where you see years from now where this is the ultimate version of what I'd like to look like? Uh, I definitely do, yeah. I don't think I'll be competing until I'm 35. For sure, maybe like a little younger than that, a few more years than me, but I definitely do think I will be able to accomplish it in the time I have and just kind of, like you said, I'm still young. I have a lot of time for improvement. I think within my weight cap too, I have at least five to six pounds I could easily put on a pure muscle. I could come in leaner, pull a little harder for weigh in, something like that, and definitely make some more gains. What's so. your cutoff? Is it 225, 230? 230, yeah. How, what would you weigh at the Olympia? Oh uh, well, it, my, it actually varies because depending on how much I squat, <laughs> I'm either six one or six foot and seven eighths. Yeah. So it's, I'm right there, but I weighed in at two twenty nine at the Olympia. But I wasn't cutting hard at all. I hadn't cut water. I was eating, drinking into that. Didn't just woke up, ate my meals, drank some water, and went in. I didn't try and pull anything. So, Arash had this question. Arash Rabar, when we were, they were all doing the every show. You guys have to do your height and weight. Mm -hmm. Arash said, "Why do we always have to do our height? Can't you guys have a database and?" Because you're not going to get any, I don't think you're going to get any taller. You're probably not going to get any shorter for a while, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Hopefully. Sh shouldn't they just measure you guys once, height-wise? I definitely think that would be a good idea because a lot of people, it's kind of like human error of the person measuring them. So if I'm six foot and seven eighths most of the time, which I have been three times, yeah. but then one time I've been six one. So I'm like, wait, can I put on 10 pounds? Or is that worth the risk? Yeah. Or am I going to be headed in under? And you just don't know. So for people who might lose an inch, that's 10 pounds of weight you'd have to drop. So I think definitely it would be benefit the athletes to have a database. At least that shows like at the Olympia where if you miss weight, you're screwed, you know? You got the biggest show, there's no, we gotta wait another year. So maybe at least for the Olympia. And the weight divisions, you know, you've, it's been bumped up twice already. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's always guys who, the bodybuilder types, who want it bumped up more and more. I think they'd ultimately like to have no cap. They'd like to weigh whatever they want. Do you think the weight limits are good where they are, or would you like to see them raised? I think they're perfect right now, for, definitely. I mean, maybe like a couple more pounds, but not another five, because I think, like I said, I could put on five pounds and still make weight. If I put on 10 pounds right now, I think I would start looking like a bodybuilder on stage. If I was like 240 up there, I think I would start to look a little bit more like a bodybuilder to take away from some of the lines. And some of the shorter guys are already, like George Peterson, he looks like he should be blowing up into 212 already, and he's weighing under 200 pounds. So a little more weight on that kind of frame, it's definitely going to start pushing into like a 212 looking division. So I think right now they're pretty much perfect, and it's a good time right now to establish the look that they want within this weight, and people know what to strive for. Uh, this division is definitely, it's only been around, this is the fourth year, but it's, it's the fastest growing division. Every year there's new guys coming out of the woodwork that are amazing. Uh, do you see this as, as a division that's going to be, I'm not going to say take the place of, but eventually could there be a time when classic is, is as popular as open bodybuilding? Because when I talk to kids, and I'm sure you hear it all the time, I don't hear from any people that want to be bodybuilders anymore. Everyone that hits me up on Instagram or whatever, they're doing classic, classic, classic. That's a hard question to answer. I don't think it will ever be above bodybuilding in our community. Maybe in the more mainstream of the people who like to watch and don't necessarily want to put themselves through the hell of actually competing. They might appreciate classic a little bit more, but the people who are truly hardcore into training, dieting, want to compete, I think they always will be just so like, they'll, they'll be so impressed by a bodybuilder because they know what goes into that. And that's gonna be like, holy shit, you put so much into that, so much time. No one can look like a Mr. Lumpy bodybuilder until you're over 30. You know, that's like, I don't think anyone could ever do that. So I think that will always have the respect value of it for sure. But classic, like you said, definitely gonna grow. And I do think the people who aren't necessarily hardcore bodybuilders, like the more general population might look at it and appreciate it a little bit more than just a mass monster. Now you are the pride of Canada. That is, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, we, got, we got a few pretty, Ryan Gosselin or whoever up there. There are some good people, there, so. yeah, they're okay. Uh, rumor has it, I think you've alluded to it in some of your videos, that you're considering moving to the USA. Um, how close are you to a decision? What are some places in the country you're looking at? Uh, yeah, it's definitely been something I've been entertaining a little bit. Whether it's for good, for my life, I definitely don't know. And I'm definitely going to have like a base still back home so I can visit my family because I'm super close with them. But right now, I think while I'm at this age and there's a lot of opportunity in front of me, I think I... It will be good for me to come down here. I have business partners down here and my girlfriend who lives down here. And I think it would just 
it's a good time for me to try it and at least see if I like it. And if I regret the decision, I could be here for three years, move back home, and I'm still younger than 30 and I have a lot of time ahead of me. So we're thinking, so I want warmth, first of all. I kind of want to get away from the winter, so something kind of down along southern states like Texas, Arizona maybe, something like that. Definitely not Minnesota. You don't want to go there. No Minnesota, no. Which brings us to today. You're in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, tomorrow's a grand opening for Carbon Culture Gym, Brandon Curry's place. Mm -hmm. What brings you to this? I mean, Brandon, after winning Olympia, we chatted a bit, and he's a great guy, great ambassador for the sport. I was super pumped when he won. And then Brent, the owner of the, the one of the helpers with the gym, he kind of, they invited me down, asked if I wanted to come out and hang out, and I was honored that they wanted me to come down. So we just come in, gonna train with Brandon today, just hang out with the crew, promote the gym a little bit, and have a good time. Well, I don't think I've had the chance to say it, so congratulations on winning the Olympia. Thank you. I don't think I ever did. I don't think I ever got to say I think it. you saw me outside and said it. I think I did, like, real yeah. quick. Hey, hey Chris. <laughs> so, I mean, amazing accomplishment. I, I think winning, I'm not going to say the Open Olympia was easy last year. It's never easy. But, I mean, Classic is just, it's, it's, getting, it's getting rougher and rougher every year because, man, these guys, like I said, every year I see a couple new guys who look like they could win the Olympia. Sure, so, yeah. you know, if... It, if, God willing, you win another one, all major props to you. It's not. It's it's going to be tough, but I, you know, I'm, I I believe you can pull it off. It's more fun the harder. You're, you're pretty good. <laughs> well, man, thank you so much for the time. Great to have you here. Appreciate it. Appreciate the interview. This has been Chris Bumstead, Classic Physique Olympia champion. Thanks for watching.